Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to analyze ESI section of NABARD Grade A 2019 which was held on 15th of June 2019. Now, uh, I tend to come out with uh, the detailed analysis of uh, the examination a little late and the purpose is simple to be able to ensure that all the answers or majority of answers are correct uh, and uh, we don't end up coming out and giving you incorrect answers. I am not going to analyze this because there is nothing to analyze. The paper was very, very easy this time compared to last year and uh, a majority of the questions and I am not and I am very serious, I am not kidding about it. Majority of the questions, more than 90-95% of the questions came directly from whatever was given for phase 1 general awareness and phase 2 current affairs for RBI as well as NAVAD examinations. So, uh, I am going to discuss about 35 questions, all the 40 questions could not be uh, recuperated, uh, there were a lot of repetitions, some questions, some, some students mixed up between uh, questions for ESI and questions for ARD. So, I am going to create the questions, uh, bring out to you a total of 35 questions that will give you a good idea as to where do you stand uh, and uh, should you start with your prep for phase 2 or not. If you are on the line, if you are above 130, go for it. If you are uh, between 120 and 130, even then I would say that go for the prep, do not wait for the result. It might take about 10 days or 7 days for the result to come out and it might get to too late by then. So, start with your prep. If it is uh, below 110, then probably you can focus on RBI and SEBI rather than spending time on ARD. Chances of getting through with 110 and below very less I would say. The first question is which institution has supported Sankalp and Strive initiative of Government of India? Uh, these two initiatives were covered in detail in general awareness for phase 1 that is spotlight and I have uh, rechecked that they were there and they were also covered in the phase 2 ministry wise schemes as well as schemes of 2018 and 2019 these two docs which were provided then. So, they were covered there in detail. So, the answer correct answer is World Bank. Which of the following has launched a national level entrepreneurship awareness campaign Udyam Abhilasha in 115 aspirational districts identified by Niti Aayog in 28 states and reaching around 15,000 youth. It was again the entire uh, aspirational district as well as Udyam Abhilasha. All of this was covered in the ministry wise schemes documents. A lot of documents were provided, some documents were provided ministry wise and the important ones 2018 and 2019 schemes were provided in two separate documents. I hope you have already gone through them. If not, go through them right away because they are going to be important for phase 2 also of NABARD as well as phase 1 and phase 2 of RBI also. And this examination gives us a an idea or a hint as to in which direction is the uh, uh, upcoming RBI and SEBI examination headed because RBI uh, tend to follow the kind of uh, pattern which is set by NABARD year after year and uh, therefore it is expected that the RBI examination should also be similar. That is a good news because more current questions means better marks. NAB Ventures is a subsidiary of NABARD. Again, this was covered in Spotlight. I checked it myself. It was available in Spotlight. Now, the beautiful thing about Spotlight is a lot of you think, uh, a lot of students come and tell me, sir, it's 120 pages, 130 pages. Uh, how do we do it? And I tell them, whatever you're covering in Spotlight is not only important for phase one. A lot of those areas, because I'm covering them in more detail, I'm not just isolating myself and trying to be brief trying to as brief as possible and therefore, you know, defeating the objective of reading something. Uh, I am more detailed but at the same time whatever you are covering there is in is in interest of or is useful for also phase 2 of all these examinations, okay. So, keep that in mind, reread the spotlight before you go for phase 2, especially the national news and international news. You can miss out the appointments maybe, you can miss out sports news. Uh, you can miss out important days, those are not asked, but other areas do cover them. So, spotlight the important areas which are often asked in phase 2, national news, international news 
and maybe committees if there are any and provided or if there are any indices covered so those are the areas which are also asked in phase 2 so do cover them CSO and NSSO have been merged into NSS NSO this new entity shall be headed by secretary of MOSPI I had covered this in the morning tales as well I remember when Chesta ma'am was on leave so I had covered morning tales and this was one of the news that I had covered one day as per UN population fund state of world population report india's population grew at an average annual rate of 1.2% between 2010 and 2019 to 1.36 billion i had covered it in spotlight and i am again uh, covering it in the phase 2 current affairs magazine also in detail which state has launched atal solar krishi pump yojana maharashtra lot of state schemes have also been asked this year and they are expected to be asked in phase 2 also i had covered some specific uh, schemes which were created by orissa because they were very popular they were in news and they've also been asked in the exam you will see that below and uh, those are the schemes that have been adopted by the central government adopted by the central government similarly other schemes by other states which have been either adopted by central government or awarded some of the other time have been asked in the exam this was one of the schemes krishi pump which was awarded by an international organization that is the reason that it has been asked criteria for connecting unconnected habitations under pmgsy is set by which of the following ministry of rural development why is it doubtful a lot of other people uh, of other uh, guidance programs they are saying it's doubtful i don't think so i think the chances of it being doubtful are less the reason being that uh, it says on if you go to pib it says clearly that mord is the implementing body of pmgsy and at the same time the objective of connecting unconnected habit habitations comes under uh, comes under an organization or an institution which is implementing a particular scheme so let's say uh, this is institution a this is implementing or looking after this particular scheme so all the objectives of this scheme should also come under or should also be the responsibility of ministry or institution a and therefore it should be ministry of rural development only impress web portal comes under which ministry mhrd under ayushman bharat scheme hospitalization cover is provided to i think every all of you must have got this right a very popular uh, you know scheme or initiative that the government had launched which state had launched this scheme kalia it was covered by me in the morning tales also so see whatever i'm covering in morning tales they are not only specific to phase 1 general awareness they are also useful for phase 1 esi ard section in case of nabard or even phase 2 esi in rbi and sebi examination so do, do cover them T- it takes only 10 minutes of your time early morning you can easily listen to it it can be very fruitful Indian World Bank have signed US dollar 250 million agreement to launch NRETP NR mein R stands for National Rural Economic Transformation Project so rural Kusum scheme full form of S uh, Krishi Urja Suraksha Evam Uthan Maha Abhiyan uh, all the acronyms as well as uh, their full forms i had already discussed that they are very important all of you know that by now uh nabard rbn sevi have been following this trick for quite some time so there's nothing new about it i hope you understand that as per national annual sanitation survey what percentage of people have access to toilets so this is one question uh where i would like to discuss that okay this looks like a phase 2 question right this looks like a complete phase 2 question which should have been discussed in phase 2 current affairs but instead the because of uh, how comprehensive my phase 1 general awareness is this was also covered in detail with uh, all the major major facts w- within four five lines in spotlight also so that's the importance of spotlight it's not only helpful for your phase 1 general awareness all those things are also holding a lot of importance for your phase 1 uh, phase 1 esi and phase 2 esi also okay so do cover it nrlm is a flagship scheme under which ministry rural development again niti aayog establishment 1st january 2015 someone told me that there was 2nd october 2015 also and that is where people got uh, a little confused uh, a little tricky question because you tend to learn the years 
it's very difficult to learn the date also but you can divide it in a specific manner like all the uh, schemes or all the important initiatives are either launched on 1st january either launched on 2nd october either launched immediately after the budget so probably somewhere like 2nd feb or something or they're also launched uh, you know in april 1st april is sometimes followed so those are the most important dates that are normally followed by uh, you know the government when they are launching these schemes okay so uh, you can probably divide your uh, entire schemes or organizations as per the days and not otherwise so you can say okay which all schemes or which all initiatives were launched on first jan a b c d e 1 2 3 4 5 so that way you'll be able to remember it better okay so that is how you can divide it uh, let's come to the next one rrm provides credit service delivery to rural areas through self help groups no rocket science here very easy according to uh, socio economic caste census it was provided under esi section if you had covered it you would have answered it very easily very easy question Poshan Abhiyan comes under which ministry? Ministry of Women and Child Development. What is the target for lending to non-corporate farmers? I checked PSL targets and I had covered it last year. There have been no updates, so the same have been provided to the all the enrolled students. It does not say non-corporate farmers, but it says something. Let me discuss what it says. It says 18% target for agriculture. 8% out of this 18% is earmarked for small and marginal farmers. So. the overall target under psl 40% is out of 14% 18% goes to agriculture out of this 18% so the break up would be 10% and 8% 8% goes to small and marginal farmers and the remaining 10% goes to all kinds of farmers but it says that psl targets mention that lending to non corporate farmers should not fall below average of last 3 years average okay so whatever last 3 years average is there the psl target to non corporate farmers should not fall below that target okay now i don't know what the options were but if the options were in percentage terms then it could be 10% or it could be 18% one of those okay it could not be anything else so that is it about the confusion that is being running around regarding non corporate farmers Under uh, Kaushal Vikas Yojana, government has planned to train 10 million youth by which year? 2020. Easy question. Shram Yogi Mandhan, organized workers, the upper age limit 40 years. Everybody knows it. Very easy if you have studied uh, current affairs. Even if you have studied them once, you could have answered them. Trifed gives boost to local artisans because it's for local artisans and uh, tribal areas, tribal people. PMSYM uh, is the contribution. The what is the contribution ratio of beneficiary in central government? Fifty fifty. What is the minimum pension that would be given to subscribers? Three thousand. The entire list, in fact, of if you are contributing between the age of let's say eighteen to twenty six, let's say thirty to thirty nine. I'm just making things up to uh, help you understand. The entire list was created. What should be the monthly uh, contribution and what would be the Uh, what would be the pension after you turn 60 so that had been provided and a lot of students were saying that sir this is too much but i said hey uh, they ha- have been asking such questions picking up from those areas and one question comes directly from there poshan ma under poshan abhiyan was celebrated as which month and year september 2018 not a difficult question needless to say that it was covered national sanitation survey what percentage of people have access to toilet repetition of the question i said that i have already covered it in spotlight PM Saubhagya Yojana has prioritized providing electricity to rural and urban establishments. Uh, if you understand what is the purpose of PM Saubhagya and what is the objective, which was discussed in the uh, ministry-wise scheme coverage, you could have answered this question very easily. So when I had created and distributed the scheme-wise, ministry-wise coverage, sorry, of schemes. then some students called me and told me sir uh, this seems to be very detailed uh, we don't need to understand the objectives and all those features uh, let's go it the, the upsc way but i told them that there is a reason that i'm covering them in more detail upsc does not ask these kind of questions but rbi does so specific provisions specific features objectives these are the two major areas from where questions have been picked up from the past in the past and this time also questions have come and in phase 2 also questions are expected 
according to mind the gap state of em employment report not one of the reasons no education required for this if you uh, from a layman's perspective understand what is the purpose of employment then you would be able to answer this question okay trifid is responsible for employment generation of tribal people not difficult corpus of women uh, livelihood bond launched world launched by world bank and should be 300 crore not difficult again theme of fourth edition of niti ayog artificial intelligence for all i checked it available in spotlight okay what is the age limit in gramin kaushalya yojana 15 to 35 and 45 that was also covered pm kvy target year to skilling of 10 million youth 23 2020 sorry again covered in the ministry wise schemes uh, that uh, the pdfs of ministry wise schemes kvy under which ministry skill development and entrepreneurship not difficult uh, mudra yojana loans granted for allied activities to agriculture can be covered under this was also covered under uh, mudra's pdf that was provided how much amount has been allocated for mg narega interim budget not difficult covered under the interim budget solar charkha scheme meant for artisans not difficult nrlm stands for national rural livelihood mission the easiest question i would say out of all the last question would be the easiest question so total of 37 questions because one question was repeated so these were the questions approximately all of them i have covered well with the uh, correct answers Uh, if you like this video and if you want to prepare for phase two of NABARD examination, do subscribe to the channel. Do press the bell icon. Do not forget it. I will be coming out with detailed analysis and detailed coverage of English for NABARD as well because I believe that's one of the most important areas that has been missed out for a long time. So if we need to cover. So what I'll do in the future is I'll come out with a video on 22 topics that I have created for English. and then we'll move forward and we'll start discussing all of those 22 topics one by one we'll try and cover one topic every day so that by phase 2 of nabard we are done with all 22 and by god's grace we'll have one of those questions asked in the examination in phase 2 okay all the very best for your examination uh, may you get selected for phase 2 and bank it as well take care